This is Diana, your favorite astro nerd, and it's time for another short video. And this time for the dwarf, we are going to be able to photograph the Milky Way. We're going to be able to do star trails, which is so exciting and so nice. So I want to show you uh, those images that Dwarf Lab sent me for me to use them in this video and do some editing so we can see the capabilities of the future dwarf. 3 telescope now with the dwarf 3 we're going to be able to do uh, calibration frames and if you are a little bit of more experienced astrophotographer you know exactly what i'm talking about and these are the uh, bias frames the dark frame and also the flat frames that are the ones that are going to help correcting gradients and helps with the light pollution and vignetting And right there is the Milky Way. And of course, the building is going to be moving because the telescope is tracking the stars, not tracking the building. <laughs> but as you can see, let's just kind of like zoom in a little bit here. And that is the Milky Way right there. As soon as we do some basic uh, calibration and color adjustments, we should be able to see them pretty well. You see some clouds were passing. Well, that is going to affect the images, but that is part of the uh, calibration and fixing side that we can do a lot of correction and rejection on uh, satellites and all kind of little problems. Hey, don't forget to write a comment because I am doing the giveaways, the hats and other promotional items from Dwarf Lab. So just like for the other giveaways that I did, Write me a comment and that way you are in. Okay, so now it's time to take a look at the uh, calibrated frames. So um, here they are and of course they are looking very green right now. Let me just apply some automatic functions here. Okay, so the next step is to align these images and for that I know we know that we need to pick one frame and in this case I pick number 10 it's okay uh, but it's going to there all of the images are going to be aligned using this particular frame. Working on that uh, background that it's going to remove a lot of that green. And there you go, so that's the first step. So here we are, the extracted uh, background. Let's see how it looks, okay? And let's go ahead and look at the first image here with the dynamic background extraction. Oh my God, already we can see the, the Milky Way, so this is really good. I've been growing in my channel and for the first time I have the super thanks <laughs> on my channel and you know that button that it's there uh, by the comments and everything that says thanks. Well, you can say thanks and you can uh, give me a gift of any any number that you want. It can be one dollar, it can be five dollars, it can be one million, why not? <laughs> And now I want to do some a blur exterminator so I can uh, sharpen a little bit the stars as you can see uh, so they look a little bit uh, sharper and rounded. Okay, so it is done. This is before and after and after blur exterminator. I am going just to go ahead and use the noise exterminator and that it's going to make this image to look a lot better as it's going to remove all of that uh, background noise and everything that it's there on the image. Okay, and this is very quick and already it's looking much better. You see all of the noise there and after. So finally I have my image and now to start working on it a little bit. 
created a star mask. The mask is going to protect the areas that I want. In this case, um, if I show the mask, it's all red, but the stars are in white, but the stars will get the color, but that's not what I want. I want to work on the uh, Milky Way itself, so I am going to invert the mask. And these are the big stars that are going to be protected, so they're not going to be affected by any of the uh, color changes that I'm going to make. And let me just work on the saturation first. Ah, yes, those are those... Uh, orange colors and so that looks so beautiful on the milky way so let's just go ahead and apply that oh nice and if i do just the rgb key uh that's probably good right there so basic s uh color adjustments let me just go ahead and apply that very good so here it is the uh, milky way and now i want to do something which is going to be to remove the stars and let's see how it looks without the stars and for that i'm going to use of course the uh, star exterminator Hey, don't forget to write a comment because I am doing the giveaways, the hats and other promotional items from Dwarf Lab. So just like for the other giveaways that I did, write me a comment and that way you are in. Go! Okay, so what do you think? I think it was really fun. I really enjoy these images and to be able to take images of the Milky Way is so good with just 65 frames and just a few calibration frames. I think the result is impressive. Uh, what do you think? Let me know. Write your comments here. I want to hear from you. We're going to be able to do a lot of things with the uh, Dwarf 3 and don't forget to uh, check on Dwarf Lab social media pages on Facebook, Instagram, and here on YouTube for the latest news. You can always uh, stay tuned here in my channel as I am a dwarf telescope lover. Yes, I am. See you next week. Thank you for watching.